Even as a child, Carolyn Aronson realized how much a good hairstyle could change a person's self-image. So no one was surprised when by age 18, she'd opened her own salon catering to multiculturally diverse clientele. Certainly had that 10,000 hour rule where I was putting in the hours and getting so much hands-on experience. And I mean literally hands-on, touching, feeling, using not only a variance of types of hair, literally probably hundreds and hundreds of products as well. After the loss of his job, her then husband suggested they take their combined life savings and launch a hair care product line of their own. I said, sure, sounds good to me. And uh, we got involved in that. Our first company completely failed. We lost everything, got divorced. I think we, there was a, quite a few lessons we learned from that. Um, it, was a, it was a wide spectrum of products. I think we probably launched a few too many right from the get-go. Despite their issues and the end of their marriage, they decided to continue on as business partners. We did not quit. Um, even though we had you know, lost uh, pretty much our entire life savings, um, we continued on and we started over completely from scratch. Carolyn spent the next year perfecting their first successful product. It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. There was one of the reasons we called it It's a 10 is because I was adamant about not having the QC issues I had in the past and I was gonna make sure that I was working with the chemists. If I even thought it was an eight, it was going back. You know, until it was a 10, I wasn't going to release it. When I was up against Procter & Gamble, Unilever, L'Oreal, I mean, these massive, massive companies with huge budgets, I knew that my juice in the bottle better be a whole nother level. With no money for marketing, they began offering their product to salons to try on their clients. Popularity quickly grew. And it literally just rippled and snowballed across the United States. Um, and they opened up DC after DC quite quickly. We were selling over 13 million bottles a year just in America of this particular SKU. After 10 great years, the two decided to go their separate ways, and Carolyn bought her partner out. Being the sole owner of a company and really figuring out where to take it from there uh, during a very volatile process, um, and on top of it, turning around and putting a lot of debt onto it can be an extremely risky venture, especially for a brand that's 10 years old. Carolyn knew she needed another partner, and after lots of searching, she came to the conclusion her husband, Jeff Aronson, was the best fit. You know, and, and I wasn't so sure. Truthfully, I wanted to work with uh, an ex or our husband again. I mean, I had a bad experience with that in the first place, but um, I knew his brilliance um, and I knew his capabilities. And I, I was like, you know, pushed back, like, wait a minute, I don't know if it's a great idea, but I, I work with my wife. We actually negotiated over it. We had a hands-on negotiation. And I told her the only way that I would agree to come on to the company is if she would agree to come out from behind the shadow. Jeff felt they needed to focus more on e-commerce and believed making Carolyn the face of the brand would help them stand out. E-commerce naturally, I mean, it just had become such a huge part. Um, in our industry, ironically, for being such a progressive industry and the beauty industry was a little behind in that department. So um, Jeff, having run many companies before and being a marketing master, really uh, was an expert at that. They didn't know it. They weren't comfortable with it. So we switched um, that on at that point and have achieved every year triple digit growth on just that side of the business alone. We started off by doing a Super Bowl commercial. So, um, I mean, you can't, uh, that was kind of my coming out party when I first bought the company. I was expensive coming out party. <laughs> it happens to have worked out beautifully. Um, I've revamped the entire company in a lot of different ways. I'm adding a makeup line called Be A 10. I'm adding a hair extension line called Extension. Um, we've created tools, blow dryers, brushes. So we're really working on creating a head to toe It's a 10 experience because the brand has um, become known for uh, the good juice in the bottle. Uh, and I, you know, I'm gonna continue to raise the bar in the other categories as well. With all her success, one of Carolyn's greatest passions is inspiring other women to pursue their dreams no matter the obstacles. You know, I'm, I'm in the beauty industry and ironically, it's really run by men. 
So I'm one of the only female own professional hair care brands, especially of my size. Um, and on top of it, I'm Hispanic, so I'm a minority. Um, this industry can create billionaires, and that's very, very unusual for self-made women. So it's incredibly empowering. Um, I encourage women all the time, and, and with a lot of my speaking, to go after your dreams. And when people tell you no, you just have to look the other way because there's going to be plenty of people who tell you no and it feels that much better when you actually do it.